Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about punching holes. Okay, so here you see an example. And first, I start with a, a high poly mesh. So when you select the wire frame and watch your your mesh density, you see here it's a a high poly mesh and here you can sculpt the holes so you can use something like a stamp uh, to create the holes and the higher the mesh density uh, so the nicer the holes <laughs> okay so how to do this um, I reset my brush tool so You can use, for example, the, the brush as a as the brush tool. And when you um, watch here the, the preview of your alpha here um, and you change the scaling, you see here a red ring. So the red ring is the shape of your brush. So in the moment it's a ring. Okay. So the next thing is um, your stroke is at the moment dot and it's okay but the stroke spacing is uh, 13%. So when you, um, sorry I turn the wireframe off. So when you draw here um, your stroke you get a line something like this. So when you increase the stroke spacing to about um, 200 percent then you get such dots so here you can brush along and get such an effect on the left side here is an option for um, sub so your brush stroke goes in the opposite direction so now you get shapes like this and the next thing is here um, your now you have a circle shape and it's okay so when you change your scaling um, sorry to something like this then a square is inside the red ring here you see here inside the red ring is a square so now when you use the same thing you get um, a square hole so but we need now the round shape okay the next thing is here when you brush along uh, the size changes so if you want everything the same size you can um, deselect the pressure so so now everything is the same size so I change the brush radius so there's no pressure setting on the pencil and you get everything with the same size. And the next thing is the fall off. Here uh, when we brush along you see here it's uh, rounded and here you can change the fall off of your hole. So you can create uh, something like this then you get a cylindric hole and you can also adjust here uh, the smoothness a little bit to get a, a rounder here in, in this uh, area you get uh, this curve here. So I adjust the brush radius a little bit. You see what happens. So let's go back a few steps. And now let's test the whole thing. Don't much too big.
so we can use uh, the symmetry to see the center so here So we can punch our holes like this. The next option here is uh, you can give the whole thing also a color when you select here paintbrush color. Um, and then you get uh, nice black holes. And yeah. This is the way you can uh, punch holes in a high poly mesh. So it works like this. And you can do, um, you can create nice effects uh, when you change here uh, a little bit the fall off. So you see here a preview of what you get. So, so you can create such objects here. Let's play a little bit with the fall off. So you can stamp such variations here. Um, you see here it's like the fall of what you get so so you can stamp such holes okay um, but for a low poly mesh it doesn't work so I watch my wireframe and so yeah let's decimate the whole thing here down So with such a, a low poly mesh, um, the whole thing here doesn't, doesn't work anymore. So when you punch here your holes, it looks like this, it's not okay. So for this you can use um, the insert tool here, this is the insert tool and we can use a cylinder here on the left side, cylinder and here you can place now a cylindric object on the surface and Here you can adjust how deep the hole is and you can now validate this object and you can change also the, um, the resolution of the object. We don't need so, so much topology, topology so it's okay when it looks like this. <coughs> Now you, oops, sorry, you can now valid, validate the object and here when you see the gizmo, you can change the orientation here with the pivot, you can use the rotation and rotate the, the green direction here in this direction and leave the pivot option and now you can add a repeater node so here um, a curve repeater and you can place here with a snap option your objects here snap the curve to the to the shape here and change the count value so you see here um, your your objects here and place it inside here uh, your 
of your snowman. This one isn't nice. I think we don't need the, the spline option. Okay, let's use it like this. Here you can validate the objects and um, join the children is okay. And for this we use now the boolean option. You can hide the cylinders and select the snowman and use the boolean. Here this option. And now your holes are here, something like this. So I demonstrated on a on a tube. Here you can create a such a tube path. Sorry. And we use now our profile to create a belt, something like this. Okay, and if you want to punch here holes, so along the center line, you can create um, a curve repeater here this option and this curve repeater make it as a single object here in the hierarchy and select now the gizmo and add a, a cylinder object here So we have to rotate the cylinder in this direction and adjust the dimensions a little bit. So this is our whole object and we have now the, the cylinder inside the, the curve repeater and here we can change the, the count of the holes like this. So we can change the radius a little bit to make bigger holes. And now we can select the array and validate it, join the children, make them invi invisible, select the, the, the tube and then make a boolean operation. So now you have the holes inside your mesh. So yeah, <laughs> let's punch holes. Have fun with sculpting, ciao.